Alright guys, yes, it's your boy Tech Zero coming at you, and believe it or not, it is Christmas Eve, December 24th, 2013, podcast number 5. Super excited because it's Christmas Eve, is the best time to just play video games, spend some time with your family, and uh, the next day, the 25th, just open up some awesome gifts. So what's going on on the tech and gaming world? So... Yeah, 13 most popular video games of 2013 as purchased by you guys. And it looks like they they created a list. And I was surprised that Call of Duty Ghost was not part of it. Okay, the number one contender was Grand Theft Auto. What is going on? Battlefield 4 was part of the list. I believe SCOM was also part of the list. A bunch of other PC video games was part of the list. But Grand Theft Auto number five was number one on the top, which kind of shocked me. Number two was Bioshock Infinity, but no Core Duty. Uh, I believe, um, looking at my little notes over here, Borderlands 2 was also number five. No, XCOM was number six. Battlefield was number seven on the list, but no Core Duty. That kind of sucks. I don't know why that didn't get up in the tops but uh yeah um apparently uh batman was arguing with a pedestrian uh not too long ago at times square in new york city for some crazy reason i mean this this dude was extremely upset uh the the guy that was dressed as batman he was taller than the pedestrian and they were just arguing it was to the point that they needed two spider-man dudes to stop and calm down batman so that was pretty crazy i'm like come on in new york the city that never sleeps right uh it looks like apple yes apple is already prepping or there's a bunch of leaks already out that apple is going to be coming out with a 12.9 inch ipad for 2014 yeah another upgrade or another size upgrade for the ipad world seriously who in the hell needs another ipad of 12.9 inches ridiculous but I believe the 12.9 or the 13 inch, they haven't really decided of how big it's going to be, but it's going to be that big, 12.9 or 13 inch. And it's going to have the retina display with that, I believe, the A7 chip. Uh, but I'm kind of surprised if they're going to have a new iOS operating system for the new iPad. That'd be pretty cool. Just come out with a new iPad and a new iOS. That'd be pretty awesome. Uh, so check this out. This kind of blew my mind when I read this. And apparently... A woman from Las Vegas was tortured and kidnapped. Now, that didn't blow my mind. Uh, You know, people getting tortured, you know, and being kidnapped, that's an everyday thing. That kind of freaks me out, too. But what really blew my mind is that the fact that the kidnappers demanded a PSP for her release. Seriously. They captured this woman at Las Vegas, tortured her to I don't even know what kind of ways. And all they wanted was a PSP to release her. Uh, yeah. What in the hell? Seriously, a PSP, a PSP that would cost you between 150 to 200 dollars. You can probably get lucky and go to GameStop and get it refurbished. But you're willing to kidnap a woman to get a PSP? Now that's a pretty serious tour order. Now I don't know if you guys know, but PSP has been not really used for a while you know the ps vista is the latest thing from the psp world uh ps vista is pretty old i used to have a ps vista uh not actually a ps vista uh but a psp and i used to have a hack that i used to play video games from the sd card but come on you're gonna really kidnap a woman and torture her because you want to get a psp and that's the only way that you're gonna try to get it that's kind of stupid <laughs> another Kind of weird news is this. Cops say, now, uh, a Florida man, this is from Florida, always has to be far away, like Florida and Las Vegas, right? Uh, This guy was playing his video game so intensely that when he tried to change his baby's diaper, he broke the baby's leg. Like, what? Seriously, that kind of blew my mind out because... um, you are so intense in playing your video game that you you don't have the time to pause your video game. I, come on, I, come on, guys. Seriously, I, I just don't know how, how, how. Where's the logic in this? This is retarded. The dude was playing games so hard, so heavy that he was so focused in the video game that he couldn't take 
10 seconds or a minute to change your, your child's diaper that you zone tense because you didn't want to lose your place that you broke your child's leg seriously come on i i play black ops intensely sometimes and i get to the point that i start screaming at everybody in my household but i try to take a chill pill because you know sometimes you go crack, kind of carry especially when you in that rut you know you got a nice little care package and you just going street by street, you got a five street, goes to six to seven, and then all of a sudden you get to ten, and then someone starts tapping you because they got problems with their machine or their printer's not working. Like, come on, get get away from me, seriously. Come on. I just want to play the game before you start bothering me. But come on, but the whole fact that you're you broke your child's leg because you didn't want to get interrupted in your game, that's kind of retarded. Um, NBA Live gets a gets his first patch. Now, I'm not a huge sports fan when it comes down to video games. Uh, I used to play baseball a lot when it used to be like a Super Nintendo, Nintendo, but I stopped playing that. I, in the car racing games, I'm not really into that. Uh, I'm really into the Call of Duty first-person shooting games, but it looks like NBA Live gets its first patch, but it doesn't look like you should be expecting too much of change of it. Uh, the first patch rollout was... Last Friday, it was a, a, a couple of days ago, Friday, yeah, and uh, it doesn't look like too many things were changed throughout the game. Uh, don't really know what the patch was about. They don't really tell you that much, but hey, that's a good thing. Uh, Apple iOS 7, you know, iOS 7 has been out for about a couple, I think a month, um, two months already. And finally, someone has jailbroken iOS 7, finally. As you guys know, jailbreaking is when someone uh, installs some specific software that allows you to download any app at, uh, I believe, Cydia. I believe that's one of the major apps that you could download programs, Cydia. Um, Correct me if I'm wrong, and I don't. I, I haven't jailbroken a device for the longest. Last time I jailbroken a device was when uh, my original iPad, and I had to restore it back. But uh, the best thing about jailbreaking your thing is that you could download all these massive apps and just have all craziness. Like you could change your wallpaper, you could change your dock, you could do all crazy stuff. But it looks like the IO Seven has finally been jailbroken, and that's a big hype. Now, from my understanding, a lot of people have not been trying to get their hands on the new jailbreak because a lot of glitches with the the, the tethering and uh, the carriers and stuff but it looks like they finally got it stabled from my understanding of today today december 24th tuesday uh they, they got the jailbroken um kind of thing uh stabilized uh installing it is a little different than the way we used to do it we don't have to i don't think you have to do it through the device i think you have to do it to your physical machine like you got to plug in your your apple device into your a physical pc or a mac for it to work um what's what, what else is happening uh it looks like the first halo game on xbox one looks a little different uh, apparently halo uh spartans assault was trying to come out for windows 8 tablet or devices and uh I think Microsoft basically said no. We don't. We don't want X. We don't want uh, Halo to be part of the Windows 8 devices. They kind of banished that project. But it looks like Microsoft brought the project into Xbox One. Uh, there is a, a nice little clip uh, in YouTube of the trailer, which I'm actually going to post up the link to my blog site so you guys can actually go to my blog site. I got all the links of all the articles that I'm basically all the news feeds that I've been talking to you guys, all the craziness. So you guys could go check that out and especially go check out the, the new first Halo game for Xbox One trailer. It's, it's pretty awesome. Uh, for those that are into Halo, you are probably might not get disappointed for those that haven't played Halo. You probably might get hyped on it. Uh, Halo is a video game that is just like Call of Duty, is Black Ops, you know, uh, it's just like it, same scenario, you're going around shooting things, but it's more objective based, uh, Call of Duty multiplayer, well, Call of Duty campaign is like mostly objective based, but uh, I, I think 
uh, I think they made it kind of smart with Ghost because when I purchased Ghost, it was two CDs, and one CD was just playing squads and multiplayer, and the second CD I needed it for you know campaign. So I think you actually have to install it on your physical box. And I don't have an Xbox One, so I don't even know how the Xbox One works. And I don't even know if the Xbox One CDs are regular DVDs. Uh, but that's, I, I don't know, guys. So, but check that out. Again, I'm going to post all the links at the bottom of the description so you guys can go check it out. And hopefully you guys have a happy Merry Christmas. And i catch you guys later. Peace out. Peace out.